South Korea-Philippines relations have a remarkable relationship that spans decades. The special connection started during the Korean War. The majority of Filipinos have experienced it one way or another, either through the so-called Korean wave which brought in a massive flow of South Korean culture. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? I hope you all are doing great. Your girl is back with another interesting video I know you are going to love to watch. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting on this particular video why south korea is investing so much in the philippines guys you know what it is if you're watching me for the first time you love my videos hit that subscribe button let's become one big family and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't get to miss out on my next video so without wasting much of your time guys let's just dive into this video watch it together and react on it at the end of it we'll find out why south korea is investing so much in the philippines let's dive into the video okay the philippines country ties are known for being connected to japan the united states and its neighboring countries these countries are all illustrated for being large trade partners economic investors and even military alliances there is on the other hand a country that has been largely missed out on the list and in recent decades, this country's presence has emerged quite largely within the Philippines. Yes, we are talking about South Korea, a country that is slowly becoming one of the leading economic partnerships in the Philippines. Its growth in almost all the sectors in the country, from the vehicle industries such as Hyundai and Kia Motor Company, to leading in the mobile sales business such as Samsung phones, and to many surprises, South Koreans have consecutively become the leading tourism visitors in the Philippines. So, how did South Korea grow so big in the Philippines? And will it one day become the largest partner in terms of economy, trade, and even continuously becoming a tourist paradise? South Korea-Philippines relations have a remarkable relationship that spans decades. The special connection started during the Korean War, when the Philippines was one of the countries that recognized the existence of the Republic of Korea. And since then, there have been several military cooperations between the two countries, which South Koreans have continuously thanked the Filipinos who helped their country during such a drastic time. This eventually evolved into social and economic partnerships. By the mid-1950s, both countries established their presence with each other by opening an embassy building. These military cooperations would eventually become an integral part in the later years as South Korea became one of the leading figures in the Philippines' military, as it supplies crucial equipment such as warships and fighter jets. Fast forward 50 years later, then-President Fidel V. Ramos visited South Korea, which ultimately became an important date in diplomatic relations. And as a side note, Fidel Ramos was also a veteran of the Korean War. Today, we can see the impact of South Korea in the very lives of the country, from its culture to the economy. The majority of Filipinos have experienced it one way or another, either through the so-called Korean wave which brought in a massive flow of South Korean culture, from the famous K-dramas, K-pop, K-games, and most importantly, Korean food. These have all enabled a stronger flow of trade between the two countries. What commonly stood out from South Korea's presence is often known for their vehicle and smartphone devices. Considering how Hyundai and Kia Motors are seeing substantial growth in the past decade and how Samsung is one of the leading smartphone devices. Although, as of recently, the Philippines is seeing an emergence of South Korean firms impacting a large part of the construction industry. Firms such as Hyundai ENC, Dalem Industry, just to name a few, have taken part in helping construct some of the boldest projects the Philippines have done in its history. These are the likes of the Malolos Clark Railway, a 163-kilometer rail system, a petrochemical plant located in Bataan that would be worth around $317 million, and even became a manufacturer of the country's metro rail transit systems. What stands out, however, is the announcement from a South Korean firm called EN+. Plus. It was when they became keen on pouring over $100 million into the electric vehicle industry of the country. The future, on the other hand, is quite difficult to say. However, if anything, these past and present occurrences are already good signs about the future of the two nations. Even the current president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, claimed that South Korea and the Philippines have a special friendship and will continue to do so in the future. Moreover, one of the biggest international aid the country has received during one of the greatest calamities in recent years, the COVID-19 pandemic, was from South Korea. 
and according to data, as of 2022, they have been a leading helping hand to the land, sending half a million AstraZeneca vaccine doses and sending 10.6 billion pesos worth of international assistance. And what's more, these are just some of the many others it has done during the crucial time, even for its own country. These are likewise great indicators that South Korea and the Philippines relations will continue to improve. Alright guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Is South Korea really investing much in the Philippines? Let's have a conversation down there. See you all on my next one. Bye!